I've come out to, uh, well I came out to test some gear and I wanted to go up into the mountains but the forecast was just terrible and it's just a lot of new gear that I'm testing so I didn't want to go up into the mountains and have anything fail on me or not work. So I thought I'd go on to the mowers but it was pea soup, couldn't see a thing, it was thick in fog. So I just kept driving around and the clouds broke over towards the coast so I thought yeah let's go over to the coast. Doing all that I've not left my cell enough time really so I'll quickly chuck the tent up and uh, we'll see, we'll see where we're at. I've got, some, I've got a few new bits of gear to look at as well so let's have a look at that eh. Let's get tent up. Do you know what, it's, uh, instead of doing a time lapse, it's always just easier doing these ones. Hey, ah. Uh, job's a donut. Job is a donut. <laughs> yeah. Yee -hoo -hoo. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited to be out in the, the dome away from home. Look at her. Bit of a... It's on a bit of a shitty angle, but that's life. That's life. Nothing the exterm can't sort out. <laughs> it's a bit of an angle, isn't it? Per angle. Shall have a quick look inside? The tent is the Hilleberg Alak 2, which is... I'm taking... The, well... I don't know, mate. I'll use this tent until I'm... Until I can't use it, any, until I can't camp anymore, I'll use this tent. Never getting rid of it, it's sticking around forever. Sentimental value, off the charts. Off the charts. Uh, yeah, it costs a lot, but this is lasting me a lifetime and I'm just, you know. It's, I've used it enough, more than enough now, to justify, I just... It, I, well, we all, those who know the story behind this will know, so this is my tent anyway, and I love it dearly. Uh, cup kit, just got my little cup kit, which is a self contained, um, lightweight cup kit. Everything I need in there. I've done a video on this that I'll link here. You can have a look at to see what's in here. Um, and I'll leave it at the end of this video as well, so you can have a look what's in there. There's CBA right now. Just chilling. Look at all the room in here. So, my new bag, headline news. The Rab Ascent 900. I've trialled it and it is warm, mate. It is warm. And this is coming from someone who I've used a three season bag for the last few years, all season. So, to have this is just a joy during this time of year. Um, pushing into the colder months and the awesome front tops up the top and uh, just got me some me warm clothes my merino layers my possibles pouch a few little uh, things that I've done in here I've put a uh, uh, some Dyneema cord around to create like a washing line or just to hang your bits and pieces on and a carabiner that always stays there just for the torch I do have a new torch got a new torch that I want to show you <laughs> Is this what it's come to? Sorry. I was supposed to be up a mountain looking at sunsets and sunrises and bringing you some star lapses and that, but the weather won't play in, so we're stuck in here talking about washing lines. <laughs> Deal with it. Nice little nail pad, a nice little porch. I do have the uh, ground sheet for the Hilleberg, but this just is so much more comfortable. And just gives a little bit of extra protection where you're most likely to be walking. Oh, and speaking of walking, come hither. Come hither. Got me send some new boots, mate. Uh, look. Can you see? Can you tell what it is yet? You've got to stop saying that. I'll show you. Because I'm pleased with them. There we are, mate. The Lauer. Lauer Renegade. Gone from go outdoors on the price match, so I got them for a few quid cheaper than they were supposed to be. But my, um, my Solomon Ultras just tapped out on me. 
I've, I'd, I dragged them into deep water, mate, and I couldn't handle it. <laughs> but I was tempted to get another pair of them because I ain't got a bad word to say about them. I have. I bought them to do the coast to coasting and they performed admirably. I didn't get one blister. In fact, I've never had a blister or any problems with my feet for the whole time that I've had them. And I've had them a few years um, and I've worn them pff, all the time, pretty much all the time for any little hike, day hikes, multi-day hikes, camping trips, bushcrafting trips. Um, I've really put them through their paces. The, the tread has started to go on the sole and they've split at the top, so they're no longer waterproof, they leak. Um, and they're just not fit for purpose anymore. So, reluctantly, they've had to be shelved. I was toying with the idea of getting some more, but I thought, I'll try these out, something different. These uh, Lauer Renegades, and I can't, I can't speak on them yet, but straight out the box, they're very comfortable. Um, and this is, one of the reasons why I'm out today is because I wanted to test these these new shoes out before I go up into the mountains or I've got some multi-day hikes planned and I didn't want to get caught out and be done with blisters out. So I'm out and about today and tomorrow I'm going to go dunk in the sea and then have a little walk up on tops and up onto the moors and see if I can't dunk in some fresh water and do a double dunk. Just, uh, I'm sorry for if it's... Um, if it just seems all a little bit similar like I've done this before, because I probably have, but I love it. So I'm gonna keep doing it, because I absolutely love it. And this is a good way just to test out some of my new gear. Ow, prickly. And here we've got a, uh, got quite a nice wild edible here. These gorse flowers. Nice little winter edible. So they've got like an outer husk on them. When they're young, you can just eat the whole thing, the outer as well. Obviously don't pick them up next to tracks or whatever where dogs will have pissed on them. They're all over the place and easy to identify. Some people say they've got a little bit of a coconutty vibe going on, but can't really taste that myself. Just like with a lot of wild wild edibles, they're not not bursting with flavour, and it just like a grassy, earthy flavour. Not unpleasant, not unpleasant by any stretch, and they look wonderful in salads. And uh, but on multi-day hikes again, during the coast to coast. I was flagging one day near, where was I? Horswater. And I found someone, I just stopped for just a few minutes, smashed the load into me and I could feel it. I could feel the, uh, I could feel the effects. Helped me march on, so thanks. <laughs> Brutally sp uh, spiky there, brutal. But lovely plant. And this is, uh, this is slate, which is, you can put on your Weetabix uh, or just have it in a baguette, whatever, or just whatever mate, if you want to just stuff, marinate stuff, stuff like, I don't know, I've stuffed roadkill with it, uh, I choked out a Womble and put all this in its back pocket and ate it, so that's it, slate, slater, Christian slater. As I used to teach Ray Mears when he was in, uh, when he used to come to my classes, I'd say, mate, layer up before you get cold. Yeah? Don't wait until you're cold, then layer up. Layer up. Oh, shit. Have I brought him? Yes. <laughs> I also said, Ray, if you can, mate, please dress up. I don't know, mate, like a some sort of budget superhero, I guess. And always tuck your, tuck your superhero leggings into your socks. 
Really? Because what? We're losing light, Mush. We're losing light. Right. That's my base layer on, fully merino wooled up. And uh, I've got this mid layer, which is just an old, an old crag hopper. Now it's fresh. Now it's fresh, but uh, just do, ju does the job. And I didn't realise till now, but it matches the tent. So there's that. <laughs> Look at me, what a dick. And then, so we've got merino wool on base layer. We've got the fleece. And then a down jacket over the top. Old McDonald's farm keeping me warm. I've got merino wool buff as well, which doubles up as a COVID prevention device. Or whatever. If you want to do over any post offices or out, get it up, get it on you. And then new lowers. Low it, mate, low it. That are uh, very warm and comfortable so far, but I can't speak on them until I've put, I don't know, until you've done a few hikes, a few day hikes. The Hestra gloves. Now, it's getting a bit dark to be able to see this stuff, but. Damn, it is getting dark. Right, if anyone from Nordic Outdoors is watching, thanks. These are getting a proper pacing. I ain't doing a review on them yet, or passing full judgment until I've, until I've at least had them in mountains. But so far, they're warm. I've had them uh, picking up hot stuff around fire. Um, oh, knocked out a few bulls. One bull, actually. One bull, other one survived. Uh, didn't even stun it, to be fair. Big lad. But yeah, these are excellent. So that's me hand sorted. Oh. That's it. Pudding. Bah. Hey, <laughs> bah. It is nice. Oh. I'm spectacularly biased, but even if I weren't biased, I would be saying that's nice. That's really nice. How do they do it? How do they do it? I'm desperate to show you my new torch. <laughs> it's not even a new torch, it's a lantern. But I love it, love it dearly. And uh, yeah, we might have some tales from the tent later on. <sighs> but for now, absent friends, salute. Mucking about with, ooh, I've just been mucking about with some uh, long exposure shots, and uh, which I'm very, very proud of. It's, it's, it's art. <laughs> it's art. I'm tucked up in the pit now. All I can hear is the sound of the sea, and I'm dosed up, dosed up on wine. I didn't cook any tea. I didn't. I just want hungry, so I'll maybe have that tomorrow at some point. I didn't, couldn't. It didn't even show me like my new torch. What an anticlimax that was. <laughs> Here's my new torch. <laughs> Check it out. Ah. I'll show you a new torch in the morning. Something to look forward to anyway. Well, unless something tragical or magical happens, I shall see thee on the morrow. Goodwill in the center of the fire I'm closed for business today It falls from the sky and it crushes us to the ground Movements are sluggish and enthusiasm can't be found I can't see anything out there I'm closed for business today Morning, glampers Oof. Too hot in this thing Too hot Every time I use it, I'm too hot. I just 
I had to zip it up and just sort of have it half like that. But merino wool layer and that, with matte as well, just wonderful. Wonderful and warm. You can hear seagulls and just slept really well. Just the sound of the waves crashing. As well, nice. No condensation whatsoever. Dry as a bone because um, I had all the. There's loads of different options with the zips on this tent, so you can you can have it well ventilated. And so I had both sides pretty much open, and then just with the mesh, just to let the breeze pass through. I got up early doors to see if there was a sunrise, or to see if there was any sort of skies. But the one is completely clouded over, so back to bed I went. Right, let's get up and do a bit. The big blue. Although she looks like the big brown at the moment. <laughs> Visibility nil. <sighs> Remember always to leave at least one peg in the ground until right at the end. Otherwise you could end up with uh, watching your fancy tent float off into the North Sea and that's, that's not what you want. Job done. No trace left, obviously. Tell you what, that wind is biting me. How are we going to get in soup? <laughs> in soup. Should we go down and have a look, see what it's saying, eh? I'll see you down there. <sighs> right. I'm not even going to touch the water with my hands before I go in because that'll just put me off, won't it? That'll just put me off. A nice pastely sky. <laughs> and I've just seen a seal really close to shore, so I'm not going to go out my depth just in case he scares me. I mean, it's mad enough that I'm here talking to this camera anyway when people are just walking past. It's just a couple early morning dog walkers. <laughs> That's all. Should we give them a feast? See my... Uh, see my moobs bouncing up and down towards the sea. He's, they look, keep looking back, they're waiting for me to do something like... I'm going to do something as well. Don't worry about that, I'm going to do something. Let's do it. Let's do it. Get wasp? Hey, mate. There's a wasp landed on camera. <laughs> You're out late. Right, I better get in while it's... Uh... Well, I just better get in. Au revoir. Not even cold. Not even cold, really cold. Freezing, get my clothes back on. <laughs> it's just my fingers and toes that hurt me, extremities, so the rest is all right. Thank you, big blue. Right, let's get Clobber back on. Yeah, Father Christmas, if you want, I know you watch my videos. Uh, <laughs> new pair, new pair of budgie smugglers, please.
Oh, that's nice. That was mint. Right, do you fancy going to find some fresh water or even a waterfall? Washing the salt off in there, maybe having a brew and a bite to eat? Because I do. Let's go, come on, let's go and do that. <laughs> From the coast. Quick change of scenery. A change of scenery. The only thing is, oh, it's quite popular with uh, people, this waterfall. They come and jump off and a lot of people misuse it, so... That's just all broken glass. And I don't have any boots or shoes. And I don't fancy getting glass in my feet. I'll just have to watch where I'm putting my feet so I don't get glass. Let's go. I'll keep that on. I'm only going to dunk in and then get out because it's freezing. It's colder than the sea. That is cold. That is cold. Cold ass, man. Oh, my toes. That's colder than the sea. That feel my feet. <laughs> Let's go and have some warm food. Yes. That feels good. Right, lovely stuff. I'm going to find somewhere to just cook up some grub. Get some warm food in me. Love this stove. Absolutely love it. Again, anything I use, the stove and everything is it. It's all in the uh, Amazon shop, link below if you want to check it out. I get a lot of people asking me what your trousers are or what's this, what's that. Anything that I use, or the majority of the things that I use is in the Amazon shop below. So feel free to check it out. Oh, do I have a lighter? A little bit of coconut oil. Use bag as a windshield. Fine. Don't roll down that hill, you. That's fine. Yes. Let's get in the house smashed up, I think. Mix some all in with bacon fat. A little bit of salt and pepper. A little bit of death dust. Just a little bit. Fold it all in. Oh, that smells good. So that's about good for me, that. Add bacon to the pan. Breakfast is served.
beauty of a, of a not just a camp, uh, plenty of wild swimming, hiking, just an adventure. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, thanks as always for watching. Thanks to everyone who bought a Bear Your Soul patch and sticker. Um, I've just sent off the first load got posted a couple of days ago, so they should be with you soon. Don't forget to, when you're checking out, if you write in the little box, um, if you want it sent to someone, or you want a little Christmas note, or a drawing, or anything, just put it in the little comment box um, before you check out, and I'll sort it for you. Um, I'll leave a link below for the patches, and again, eternally grateful, thank you. Um, and thanks to everyone who sponsored me. Uh, just thank you. And uh, I'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Much love.